Now, one of the things that was interesting, though, is that I did watch this clip. All right, I just want to throw this out there, too. Like, so I did all the... Let me just introduce the topic first. Logan also went to Flagrant this morning. Yeah, I, was, I watched dropped. a piece of that. It just dropped. You yeah. know, I watched like 10, 15 minutes of it. The Flagrant yeah. Flames don't like that shit. They didn't like that there he was, was there? A, it was 30 minutes in. There was a post on Reddit that was like, nigga, this shit been out for 30 minutes. Let's do a survey because we already know how this is going. Everybody said ass. Man. It really was ass, dog. And it this was, is Flagrant fans? Oh, first of all, can we address... That like I noticed this, you and I didn't see any comments about it. But Andrew was touching the, the amount of touching was fuck crazy. Out of that nigga. It was insane, crazy, bro. Like it dog. was incredible. I can't even. We can't even demonstrate what was happening because it'd be, I couldn't we, even do it. That would be, be so uncomfortable, bro. We'd be violent. It's a violation, bro. bro like, it was like it was just so much. Like he was, and it started off like All right, I get the joke. It's, exactly. It just kept going. That shit went. He just stop, kept bro. touching. There was one point in time where Logan was like this. Do this, do this. Logan, put it up to your face. Logan was like this, and Andrew was like, <laughs> he's skeptical as fuck. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> then, what, what, why? Like, because, he, because, don't do it again. Because, because, because he was like, because <laughs> like, like, he like, while, while he was yeah. talking, he had like naturally kind of did, did this while he's he was doing talking. The mantra. So, Andrew Kim. The mudra. Go. Um, go to my. Actually, this might be right in the beginning. I don't know, bro. It was weird. Bro. It was strange. It was strange. Uh, Didn't they eventually take their shirts off? I don't, what well, led I, to that? I did see. I saw a picture on Reddit with them with their shirts off. That might have just been some Instagram shit. Go to my uh, watch history. Actually, and can I say a flagrant? The flagrant audience. They're similar to Knicks, like the Knicks audience. Like they're kind of they just they're always mad. Right there. They're always disagreeing yeah, with something. Um, they're ready. They're, they're they kind of looking they for something. They hold the show accountable. Yeah, they, I'm not gonna lie, maybe to a detriment. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Degree. That this is what like, you know, when they people always say like, wait, hip hip hip, pause real quick. You know, when people always say like, uh, they complain that Andrew tries to make too many jokes. Like, just this like little 11 minute clip that I watched, I was like, yeah. Lord Jesus, it's, a it's like the part that is really frustrating about the flagrant podcast is that it takes us so long to jump into the conversation yeah. because we're halted jokes. Yep. By yeah. five, three to five minutes of jokes. The jokes remain supreme. That's the most important thing but on the show. The, it's for too them. much. A lot. Yeah. A lot of times, it's too much. Is is it but too much, or nigga, are, they, are they not that funny? A nigga like too many that's that aren't funny. That's, yeah. that's why that's they're too not. Many that aren't funny. That's why they're not funny. Yeah. I just got I don't know if I got a different approach to like listening to it, but I just respect the attempt. I don't get bored with the attempt because I understand where like you I understand the, the dilemma. Attempt? Sounds like you're biased a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Like I just I, I I'm waiting to see the nigga hit to the point because of like just like just how comedy is, just how funny he is. There are funny parts. So I'm just waiting, waiting for it to happen. It's like it, it, niggas put up bad yeah. shots and it's gonna happen. Like right. when I see Kobe Bryant airballing, I'm like nigga, it's like ah, but, he's eventually gonna hit. But it also depends on like the attempts and the context around the attempts. Right. Like the are, are the attempts. Gonna make me think like, oh shit! Like I didn't even think of it, but like that, mm -hmm. it wasn't funny. But I didn't no, think of it like, no, or the are the attempts gonna be like, okay, it just wasn't that funny. It's that one, you and, know. But and and even one, more yeah. so, sometimes the, I will say the attempts get in the way of just podcasting in general. Yeah, Absolutely. That's the, okay. Like the yeah, conversation. That's the worst part for me. I think yeah. is that it stops the natural flow of podcast conversation a lot. Uh, okay. Like, he'll, he'll literally be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me get this joke in. Yeah, and then get that off. Like, and the worst part is, like, if you ask bad questions, I wouldn't care that you're halting the conversation because the question sucked. You know, you, can't, you ask a good question, the nigga is ready to answer. Imagine being ready to answer and then waiting three minutes before you can answer. Like, forget every your good, answer. Yeah, you fuck around and forget your answer. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, that's the part that's the that's so hard, and it's so hard for me to just like fully buy into full episodes of it because it just happens a lot. It does happen a lot, and, um, and I wonder why. Go, go ahead. Now I was about to say I wonder if they kind of do what we do and they shoot their Patreon episode before they shoot their regular episode. So they're kind of still in the mindset of, you know, like, goofing okay, that's around, a good question. Fucking around. You know I think I mean? they will be warmed up, though. Well, warmed I, I up in the wrong way. Yes, yes. To yes. us. Okay. I see, because I've thought about that, too. Like, I've thought about how I felt running two pieces of podcast content back to back. Like, I think it is a lot of stress on your performance. I think the second show, depending on how you are, I don't think it, 
works out best for everybody. It's, it just depends on what the vibe is. So, like, let's just say, let's say our Patreon content was <clears throat> like on some like mid morning shit. Niggas is really kicking it. Like, we all just woke up and we just like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the vibe is crazy chill. Yeah. Like, we talking about just like some life shit, just kicking it. Uh, and then the evening podcast is the turned up one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That makes, you know, like, uh, t- uh, Fresh and Fit did a good balance of that. That's one I thing they did that, well. I would say that, yeah. Cause that they had they did whatever, but it, the the daytime videos is the shit nobody watched. It was always chill. It they was, was giving the advice and like casually talking about game. financing and stuff like that. And at nighttime, nigga, on twelve a.m. hit. Let's get these bitches in here. To uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let, let's get them liquored up <laughs> and let's Frank Castle these hoes. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So I w- I feel like your podcast has to match the vibe of the time that if you're gonna run twice a day. Yeah. But if you're about to be running two podcasts that you try to put up a nice amount of shots in. I don't know about the effectiveness on one of those podcasts. Cause something yeah, is man. gonna lack. I feel like something might lack. Just naturally, you know it's saying? a yin and yang to things. And I think that uh, Charlemagne did it well too. Uh, for a lot of times, once a week with Bray Idiots, because you know Monday through Fridays on the radio. Uh huh. And then at some point throughout the day, he's going to jump on Bray Idiots. But I think that worked out a little bit better just because the radio has these like it's a boom, different boom, format, boom, yeah. boom, boom, format. Slots, yep. and now yeah. I get to just kind of kick back Open and relax so and even that matched his day you it's know it's literally the inverse yeah yeah it was the yeah. inverse he's like this is the 5pm I'm kicking it with my homie shit yeah. you know yeah. so I can finally talk without this structure yeah so yeah. or with the FCC or FCA uh, yeah. regulations and I think that's yeah. why I've seen a lot of Joe Budden's fans complaining about the Patreon and I think that's what I think that might le- that might be one of the things that's like causing their the Str- because I I know on Joe Budden Day when you hear him talk about recording, they mm-hmm. definitely run two a day. So well, one there. of the things they oh, were yeah. complaining yeah. about Patreon wise it. was they was complaining because they didn't get the Patreon during vacation like they were promised. No, like, I'm Joe- talking about. I saw a post that said I'm sick of these these ass <laughs> these trash ass Patreon episodes. That's what I heard. Oh damn, I see. I heard. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw a post that was like for Joe Patreon- Budden. Yeah, for Joe Budden. I saw it in the Reddit, and they were like, yeah, yeah. the last couple of Patreons for the last couple of weeks have been fucking mid. Like. Cause you know you normally get a different side of your people or a turned up version, Ideally, but if niggas are version. if niggas are fatigued, bro, you know True. what I'm saying? We burnt out. But at the same time, nigga, this is paid content, so the yeah. quality has to be inherent. Which is why it might be better that you instead of doing what do they meet at Joe Budden? They three, like three times three, a week, four times a week type shit. It might be better just establish a five day work week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Type yeah. of thing, you know to. Give people a break, you know what I'm saying? It's like in sales. It's like we they don't they try not to give you more than two appointments a day because it goes it's, crazy. It's only it's so much, much you can. By the third one, you're fucked. You're yeah, like, yeah, it'll fuck you up. I'm beat <sighs> down or I'm I'm so up that I don't care if you sell it or not because exactly. I'm already up. Mm-hmm. It depends though, man. Like, you know, I, I I don't know. Like, I feel like it doesn't matter. Like that's not my problem. I think it that matters. You're fucking tired. Like no, that even, is true. That's like true. even if. The worst thing that happened to me today, uh-huh. it, like it, if it happened, like I don't, I couldn't oh, even imagine what that would be. You but coming like from the consumer's brain, you know, of saying I don't care how tired you are, give me a fire episode. And from this perspective too, because you're a professional, you're a professional. True, you, you know, know what I mean. We the podcast and like, the think before. about like That's true. how if I could wake up and only talk, you telling me I don't have to move no packages, nigga. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to pick up ottomans yeah. with my. F- Freaking legs. Right, right, right. Use right, right. my core, nigga. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still get I got to talk bro. for four hours. You, you still get fatigued. I'm fatigued. Being a professional, you'll still be fatigued. Bro. I'm fatigued. It's a different type of fatigue. It's a different type of fatigue. But it, but it, but it impacts your performance for what your job is. Yeah. It does, but you see what I'm saying? I feel like, I don't know, man. I think, it, I think it definitely affects your performance. I think, I think it is because it's like you, I don't think. We don't do it right now either. You know what I'm saying? We don't like y'all did it today though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we don't do it like multiple times a week where it's like that's our only job either. You know? So, but I think it would. I don't know. I think it would. I don't it, know. I wouldn't mind it. I feel like it, it might. It could change the atmosphere. It could make it more. Uh, it could make it feel like work. But yeah. then again, that just comes down to us. Yeah. Like making it feel like work. Yeah. yeah because yeah. they remember the time. 
You was yeah. working lifting ornaments, nigga. Yeah, exactly. And you for was sure. like, I would love to just do this full time. I would love mm-hmm. to sit on this all day and talk and that, shit. I also think it does depend on the person too. Like That's everybody's true. gonna be different. Mm-hmm. Some people might be at their they like we. You might get you see peak performance out of somebody running like, two a days, but you might see peak performance doing one podcast or one piece of content a day but out of somebody also, else. Also, like Joe yeah. said, you know, it's a lot of niggas that's just in the game. Mm-hmm. So much of that shit. That's just they're just in the game, which yeah. is why I think the. It is what it is. Deal is so important because yeah. niggas who actually jumped in the game and took it seriously, took it serious. you see what happens in one year. You know, what you know I mean? what I'm saying. Like, but all these other niggas are doing this goofy shit nah. for five to six years, and then we're supposed to just respect them just because they're fucking. They had platinum hits at one point. Yeah, nah, nah. yeah. Fuck, man. better you put that work in. Yeah. Yeah. Better clock in for <laughs> the back you, and backs. I, nigga, I'm not about to support some shit. I I know you don't care about niggas yeah, is up nah. there collecting checks. Nigga, yeah. that drink champs table is packed full of money. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. All these goddamn bottles. You don't give a fuck about this. Shit. So many sponsors on that table is crazy. It's like, sir, it just Gillian Wallow. It's like y'all don't care about this shit. It's a this episode that. is sponsored by something. Uh, that's so, how I feel. I feel they like care you can't, a little bit. I feel like you can't have that many. I think Gilly. I think Wallow cares. Yeah, I think, I think Wallow definitely cares. But I can't. I don't think you can have. I'm talking I, about the art form of podcast. They care too. about what they that. built. Yeah, but you they can't. don't care about the po- art of conversation. No, you know what I'm saying. No. I well, think more so, they you don't care about the can't. listeners' experience. Yeah, and because that, nobody wants to be. Ber- that no, I mean the conversation itself is a different piece than like they might be having a great conversation, and yeah. then right in the middle, it's an ad. Yeah, that's not the conversation ain't bad. It's just the listener experience. Oh, I see. They put this shit out because the they're form. still in the moment. They're not dealing with the commercials like if we it, are. Yeah, if anything, yeah. it's like yeah, I already said it. No point. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Um. Let's turn we still gonna watch this? Yeah. We, we are, but I'm gonna uh You gonna do some reneging? Nope, I'm not. 